Ezra Bridger has finally made his long-awaited return to the Star Wars franchise, but did you recognize the actor who plays him? Star Wars fans had a lot to get excited about going into the Disney Plus series Ahsoka. Not only was Ahsoka Tano about to get a live-action project of her own after over a decade in animation, but the series was to mark the live-action debut of beloved Rebels characters. As the series unfolded, the likes of Hera Syndulla and Sabine Wren took the spotlight. While it's been great to see these animated favorites in live-action, fans have continued to ask the big question, where's Ezra Bridger? Ezra last appeared in the Rebels finale, in which Apata Pergil take him and Grand Admiral Thrawn out of the known galaxy, leaving Sabine and the rest of his friends behind. Years after his disappearance, Sabine travels to a distant world in the hopes of finding him, and sure enough, Ezra is alive and well. I can't wait to go home. For Ahsoka, actor Iman Isfandi takes over from Rebels voice actor Taylor Gray. It's entirely possible that you've seen Isfandi before, though it's not all that likely. This is because with Ahsoka, he is adding a major credit to his rather short filmography. Unlike many of the actors on Ahsoka who boast robust acting resumes that go back decades and span screens big and small, Iman Isfandi is only just starting out in the industry. His earliest credit is from 2017 in the form of the short film F.U. Glory Days, in which he takes on the role of Hammer. His filmography is largely populated by more short films from subsequent years, such as 2018's Why We Fight and 2019's I Am Mackenzie, although Esfandi does have some feature-length efforts to his name as well. Esfandi scored his first feature film credit in 2018's Red Eleven, which was directed by none other than Robert Rodriguez, who also directed episodes of The Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. Esfandi later took roles in Phaedra, Austin Weird, and the Will Smith-led King Richard. Right now, the most recent silver screen production under Esfandi's belt was 2022's The Inspection, though it stands to reason that his body of work, acting talent, and exposure from Ahsoka will bring him more roles in the near future. Notably, Esfandi has done a superb job filling very big shoes and under difficult circumstances. If there's one thing the Star Wars fandom has become known for over the years, it's a reluctance and occasional hostility toward change. You seriously think, wow, you're about as bright as a binary droid. They're not going to come for me. People don't do that. So when the news broke that Amon Esfandi was on the hook to take the baton from Taylor Gray as Ezra Bridger, some online fans naturally pushed back. Of course, while fans in certain corners of the internet voiced their displeasure at this new casting, most folks were excited to see where Esfandi's take on the character was headed. In fact, before the series even released, fans expressed a great deal of support for his casting. Back in December 2022, a Redditor posted an interview with Esfandi in which he had been asked about his casting as Ezra and Ahsoka. In the comment section, Star Wars fans were blown away by how perfectly cast he was, with his voice standing out as a solid match for an aged-up version of the character. That's the idea. In another thread, fans were amazed by how much Esfandi looks like the animated version of Ezra and discussed how they couldn't wait to see him suit up on the small screen. So far, both Esfandi and the live-action version of Ezra appear to be a hit, and we'll no doubt see more of this version of the character as Ahsoka's first season draws to a close.